and welcome to Kismet Rising. So today we're doing a pick a card reading using Lenormand cards. And the question we're asking is, what is my career or financial advice for the upcoming future? So what is my career or financial advice for the upcoming future? And as you can see, we have five decks here. The first deck is um, just a Lenormand deck that I printed off the internet. Um, the second is the Rota Euler or a Red Owl uh, Lenormand. The third is the Rana George Lenormand. The fourth is the Gilded Reverie Lenormand. And the fifth deck is the Ur Lenormand. Um, basically, or well, it says Das Spiel der Hoffnung. Um, the that is the kind of original uh, Lo Norman, so to say, but the first deck is basically the very first cards that we used before Lo Norman was developed from it, or before um, Mademoiselle Lo Norman developed the cards from from um, those the original. So I hope you will um, enjoy it. Go ahead and choose between one of those decks. I'll have the the, the timestamps in the description box and we can begin the reading. And so for those of you who've chosen the first option here, I don't have a name for these cards, but these are what the Lenormand cards would have been modeled upon back uh, in the 1700s. These are the type of cards that would have been used at the time. And so the question we're asking today is, what is my career or financial advice? What is it that I need to know at this moment for the upcoming future? What advice do I need to take? Or what guidance do I need to hear um, with regard to my financial well-being or my career choices or my career path? And so most of you know that I would not be reading the Lenormand cards uh, or any other cards reversed aside from tarot cards. And so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, turn these around so that we could read them in an upright position. And as I do channel the messages, if there is a uh, message that um, is supposed to be reversed or it has the reversed meaning, you will come to know of it anyway. All right, so we can begin the reading. So for those of you who've chosen the first option, the cards we have are the anchor, the ring, and the woman. And so I'm going to go ahead and read what's written on the cards here. The first card has, A person as honest as you in his dealings will never want a rich harvest of gain. Your wishes your wishes, too, are likely to be accomplished. And then the second card, the ring, has... In the happy marriage which you are about to enter, avoid jealousy for the sake of your own peace of mind. And then the third card, the woman, has... Gratify your partiality to the fair sex, but never offend decency. And so, as uh, how I would read this in terms of career advice or in terms of financial advice is that you need to focus on doing what it is that is important to you as far as your integrity is concerned, in terms of in, as far as your maintaining your dignity is concerned, in terms of what is morally um, acceptable for you. It's important for you to stay with those grounded values, with those values that uh, serve you and um, help you be the person that you are. And there's no need to think about venturing in a direction which would compromise that at all. So if you were thinking about um, doing something that is not necessarily in alignment with your moral values, then this card is cautioning you to not do that. It's cautioning you to avoid doing that because you wouldn't need to do that in order to have a stable life, in order to have a stable income. Um, the other thing is that it is talking about perhaps um, entering into a commitment in terms of uh, perhaps 
starting a new venture or doing something that would commit you to it for a long period of time. And uh, at the same time, it's giving the advice that you shouldn't look at, to, at others and their success and compare yourself to that. It's talking about being anchored and being um, secure in yourself and starting, not being afraid to start something new, but at the same time, being true to your values and who you really are. Um, I think also it's talking about not being afraid to market yourself, um, not being afraid to show your wares, so to say, N um, n not to be afraid of, um, putting yourself out there in a way that is going to be showing what it is that you can offer, showing what skills you have to offer or what product you have to offer. And, um, but doing so in a way that is decent, doing so in a way that is not uh, compromising your values, um, um, as, as the cards say. So I feel like there's a strong sense of being grounded, being, being uh, close to your own values and uh, maintaining that first and foremost while venturing off into and starting something new as well as marketing whatever it is that you are doing. Um, the, the advice I would say for the uh, next few months or as you look ahead is to be anchored in what it is that you truly desire doing, what is truly um, worthy for you or what you see as worthy enough to be able to, um, yeah, to, to, that's something that suits you, something that actually makes you feel comfortable, something that you feel uh, comfortable with and that you could go to bed at night thinking that I've done this and I'm proud of myself and I'm happy with the contribution that I've made. Um, it's also talking about perhaps entering a, um, a commitment as far as a new venture is concerned or um, trying something new but not comparing yourself to others who are necessarily doing that um, not making comparisons that would perhaps get you down or make you feel insecure about yourself um, or about the venture that you are committed to. And once again, not to be afraid to show your wares, not to be afraid to market yourself as well, as far as um, you can, but just to maintain your decency in the process and not to sell yourself out in a way that is going to make you feel uncomfortable in any way or would compromise your true values. All right. So I would say the advice uh, for those of you who chosen option number one is to be true to yourself in whatever it is that you want to do and to try something new, try something new because um, it favors you to try something new. It favors you to actually do something that you have not yet pursued and uh, don't be afraid to market yourself when it comes to those things don't be don't hold judgment around that R simply market yourself in the way that you would authentically do so without necessarily compromising yourself in the process all right so that is the advice for those of you who've chosen the option number one i hope that helps you and i wish you a very sound financial time ahead those of you who've chosen the option number two, we're using the Rota Euler uh, Lenormand, which is the Red Owl Lenormand, and we're asking the question, what is it that I need to know with regard to my financial well-being as well as my career? What is the advice that I need to know? Or what is it that I need to know at this moment with regard to my financial well-being for the upcoming future or for any decisions that I will need to make with regard to my financial well-being. So for those of you who've chosen the second option, which is the Reuter, the Reuter Euler uh, Lenormand, which is the Red Owl Lenormand, we are looking at the cards that we have chosen. Um, and the cards we have as the man which is the number 28. We have the flowers, which is the number nine. And we have the anchor, which is number 35. 
And I would say that these cards here really speak about putting yourself out there, about offering your skills, about um, seeing whether you uh, could be providing an extra set of skills um, of to someone. Some I would say this would be, uh, it's likely to be in the world of the media or in the world where you are showing yourself off in some way, where you could be in the front line of something, perhaps doing some uh, voiceover work or some some kind of um, 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 some type of uh, acting or or perhaps even as an extra, or it could be that you're modeling something. Uh, but you are offering some kind of skill set. It doesn't have to just be that. It could be anything where you're offering a set of skills where you are you are advised to go ahead and offer that skill. That you could be, you know, offering your your skills to be the the um, the front person of a particular product that you are selling, or it, it to be on the advertisement for that product, or something to that effect it could also be that um you work uh, it, it has nothing to do with the medium perhaps you work in in accounting or something like this and what you're doing is offering a new set of skills or a set of skills to your employer that you haven't uh, that your employer doesn't know that you have and so it's very much about being able to gain wealth and gain extra funds perhaps uh as a side income or something like this through through the work that you do or, to, or by offering something of yourself something where you are um, representing that thing or where you are in the front line of that thing and um, I feel here that there's also a sense of being anchored in that being being secure in that work it's something that is a very conservative um, uh, path that you are taking in terms of ensuring that you have your that you will have your your monthly income and that you will have what you need in order to to continue and so let's see if there is um another card that we could pull here and so we have the ship so this card is something which can talk about moving it can talk about tra traveling it can talk about um just moving ahead or moving away from a particular world that you're in so it could be that you've decided that you could actually move uh, because of this card or it could be that you are considering a move or you're considering going somewhere else and this card is showing that that is a possibility. There's also um, the sense here that we could have um, longevity and it could would be the key to doing things. So if you are thinking about um, perhaps moving or, or traveling or perhaps, you know, transferring to a job which involves... Um, the the navy or something where you are working on a boat or a ship uh, this is all something that could apply to the various people are watching this video so it's not going to apply to every single one of you because not all of you are going to be working on boats or in marine life but that could apply to that is how the Norman card would be read as it can be read quite literally, unlike tarot, which has various different layers. And so you have here the, the trees as well. And this is a card of legacy. It's a card of uh, longevity. And it's um, looking at, at, uh, at how to move ahead in a way that you can be sure of something for a very long time. So what action can you take that will that you could take towards um, securing your future, ensuring that as you go ahead, that you are uh, prioritizing the long-term aspect of your existence. And then the, the key to you is, is, is to that. The key 
to your decision that you need to make or the the action that you need to take is towards looking at what how this is going to sustain you in the long term how is it going to um sustain your longevity how is it going to look after you uh, and so it's not just for the short term so the, the man here and the and the flowers are very much you know about you in the short term but the 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 trees and the anchor uh, are talking really about looking long term looking towards the future and looking at how and what you could do what is the key to your future and so the answer to your question is look to look at how, what it is that you can do for the long term and how it is that it can sustain you in the long term and take it um and move in that direction rather than something that is just quite short term at this point all right so i hope that that has helped you and this is going to be of some assistance to you as the the months go by and i thank you for coming to the reading and i uh, wish you all very very well and for those of you who've chosen the option number three we're using the rana george lenormand deck and we are asking the question what do i need to know with regard to my financial well-being what do i need to know with regard to my career what is the advice that i need to hear now with regard to my financial well-being or my career or and my career um and uh what do i yeah what do i need to know what do i need to know for the upcoming six months Okay, and so for those of you who chosen the option number three, the Rana George Lenormand deck, we are asking the question, what advice do I need to hear with regard to my financial and career well-being? So we have the cards, the birds, and we have the mountain, we have the ship, and we have the sun. So the way in which I would read these cards is that in order to be able to make a headway, to be able to reach a point of abundance and a place of not worry what you need to do is to network you need to go out there and talk to people about overcoming a hurdle about overcoming um, some kind of hurdle that you have um, or some kind of uh, difficulty that you that you encounter now this might not be a difficult thing this might not be something that is inherently difficult or needs um, um, a great amount of effort to overcome however it opposes to you in this fashion so the way in which I see it is that you could actually change your perspective around it see it in bite-sized pieces and it would become um, manageable as opposed to a mountain that needs to be um, climbed or overcome the key here however is networking it is about g getting out there talking to people putting yourself out there uh, speaking to people about how it is that you can um, get over the situation that you're in currently um, or it perhaps it's not a current situation perhaps it's just that you would you are quite financially stable but you looking at how you can uh, supplement your income and that for you is a hurdle and in that case it's still the advice is still to talk to people about it, to network because when you do you're going to get some ideas about how you can go about um, supplementing your your current income now the other card that comes up here is the ship so it could talk about moving it could mean moving to a place where your finances or your um your expenses are not that high uh it could be that you move to a different place in order to be able to um earn more or to be able to receive a better income or to be able to uh action a particular business that you 
idea that you have or it could also be that you are moving to a certain place in order to study. Uh, the birds can sometimes mean uh, studying or being a student or something like this as well. So this is something that um, is an option. Um, the way I see it is that regardless of um, of how big you think an obstacle is uh, to be overcome, you will still be okay. You will still actually be fine in terms of um, the final outcome. You will have everything that you need. You will be secure. There isn't anything to be concerned about in terms of the long term. You are going to be looked after. It's one of those uh, uh, cards that come up that kind of confirm that you are going to be well looked after and that you will be okay, regardless of the circumstances, regardless of how hard it may seem at certain moments. And um, yeah, the basic advice here for you is to go ahead and talk to people about how it is that you can actually supplement your income if that's what you're looking at doing. Um, if you are looking at simply getting a new job or moving in a different direction, the advice is the same. Go ahead, talk to people about it. Do brainstorm with some people and it's going to help you to actually... Um, to actually move ahead and and make the difference that you're wanting to make in your life okay so i'm gonna leave it there i feel that um this is your message and um it seems like a very basic and simple message um and it is simply that you should talk to people you should network if a move is required go ahead and do it um reevaluate your situation so that you are not um, overcome by the difficulties that you may face. Um, Re-see the situation that you're in. Uh, look at it from a different perspective in order for it, for you to understand it in bite-sized pieces and um, be assured that you will be fine and that things are going to be okay. All right, that's the most important uh, thing here. Okay, so I hope that this message helps you and um, wishing you a very blessed time ahead and wishing you much, much abundance. And for those of you who have chosen the option number four, we're using the Gilded Reverie in Lenormand by Ciro Manchetti. And um, we are asking the question, what do I need to know with regard to my financial well-being or with regard to my career? What is the advice that I need to hear right now with regard to my financial well-being or to, with regard to my career. And so for those of you who have chosen the option number four, we're using the Gilded uh, Reverie Lenormand. And we have the cards of the child, the woman, the snake, and the anchor. And um, if I have to look at these cards, I would say that um, the, the they are advising you to not be afraid to start a new venture. To not be afraid to start a new venture, to not be afraid to do what it need, you need to do in order to allow the maturity of that new venture. And it's it's saying to you that you can um, begin something in you. You don't have to be afraid of that. And you can bring it to maturity. You can bring it to its full closure. You can bring it to its full um, end. And... Um, you don't need to be concerned about about um, what you do in order to, to get to that point. Um, you may need to use certain techniques that would tempt your um, your potential clients or your um, your your the your customers, and that's okay. It's okay to use that. It's important for you just to focus on the trajectory of beginning something new 
and bringing it to its full maturity. And that is what is important here. It's also talking, uh, this is kind of being anchored um, here and it's looking, it's talking about how you can actually do something that would be of financial benefit for you in, a, in the long term uh, so that you could be anchored, you could be stable with it, you could be, it could be something that you, you feel quite secure um, through. And so that is what these cards are saying here. The other meaning, uh, another meaning um, of these cards could be that you are um, guided to a work perhaps with children uh, or to be um, kind of a caretaker of children um, to overcome uh any kind of uh, difficulty with that to be uh, to work in an environment with children who are neglected perhaps and to assist them to to come um, away from any particular type of um, temptation or some kind of uh, thing that could lead them along um, a path that is not good for them and uh, this could be another more literal interpretation of these cards is to work with children, to guide them, to be a nurturing motherly figure to these children and to help them uh, so that they would not um, embark upon a path that will ultimately lead to their destruction. Um, an another way to of reading these cards are basically to look at... Um, beginning a new it could be just beginning a new job um, where you perhaps are working with women or working on an organization where there are women and um, sticking with that sticking with that regardless of the hurdles that you might um, over uh, come across uh, regardless of backbiting or anything of that nature and to be anchored in that. If you are already in a situation where you are faced with, uh, where you are working with um, other people who can be quite perhaps cattish or there's backbiting in the in the organization where you work at, the, the, the advice here is to remain with that, is to stay anchored in it and to maintain your innocence in it and not to actually allow it to, um, to get to you, not to allow it to to get the better of you so there are many ways as you can tell of reading these cards and of coming to solutions for yourself um, I would say that um, this this anchor that you we have right at the end here as a clarify for these cards is, is basically saying that regardless of your situation regardless of whatever uh, difficulties you may experience you are going to still be okay and you are going to be fine regardless and there's nothing actually to be worried about okay so I'm going to leave that there I hope that that's been a helpful reading for you and I'm wishing you a very prosperous and abundant time ahead blessings abound from Kismet Rising and for those of you who've chosen the fifth option, we're using the Prime Lenormand deck or the Ur Lenormand, um, which is co considered to be by some the, the original Lenormand deck. And so we're asking the question, what do I need to know with regard to my financial well-being or with regard to my career? So what is it that I need to know with regard to... Um, my financial well-being what is the advice that you have for me And so for those of you who have chosen the fifth option, uh, we're using the Prime Lenormand deck. And we have 
the man, we have the fish, and we have the bear, and we have the child. And so the fish uh, generally represents wealth in the Lenormand deck. It represents money and wealth, so having it come up is really good. Um, it's separated by the man and the bear, and the man represents, well, often the man or the querent, um, or regardless of who the querent is. Well, if the querent is a woman, then it could represent a man in the querent's life. Um, the bear represents the the mother, or it could represent that protective force that is there. So the advice given here is to, we also have the child, which represents a new beginning. It could also represent a child. But the advice here, oh, well, one of the ways in which I could read this is to say that it's necessary for you to take the initiative to secure wealth in the long term, uh, perhaps for the child. Um, it's necessary to make an investment or to put some money into some kind of trust or to, to do something with the money where it will multiply by itself. Uh, but the the motion itself, the action itself, is actually the one of nurturing. It's one of caring for something. And so it's about looking at the long term and looking at how you could be caring for something or someone. Now, the another way in which this these cards could be read is that... Um, there's money that needs to be invested into something with regard to um, benefiting children. So perhaps investing in um, benefiting an orphanage or doing something which would ultimately benefit children. Perhaps uh, through the arts or through um, some kind of playground or something to that effect. Um, another way in which one could read these cards is to say that it's it's okay to secure one's wealth or one's what one has already. It's okay to secure that and you are secure in that as well. But it's not um, it's not um, contrary to that to begin something new or to look at a new venture. Because the child represents a new beginning, a new venture, perhaps. Um, with regard to the man and the fish together, it's very much about securing wealth that you already have. Now, if you're somebody who says, well, I don't have any wealth um, per se, well, look at the skills that you have and the skill set that you have. Look at the knowledge that you have and look at how that itself can be protected and how can you... Uh, put it out there in a way that you are able to make money from the skills that you have already at your avail. The other thing uh, that uh, one could look at here is looking at an insurance. Uh, so it's about perhaps um, cashing out an insurance and investing it uh, in a different way. The bear could represent an insurance or some kind of pension fund some kind of fund that's been um, building up over time. So this is, it's looking at how you can perhaps redistribute funds that you already have or perhaps um, being aware of what it is that you have already and looking at how you can use that in, in a way that could make you money. Or, but, but as especially securing that. So perhaps you have a particular knowledge, perhaps you studied something, perhaps you have gained a certain degree of experience by doing something. And these cards are talking about how you can secure that, how you can secure that knowledge that you have. Perhaps you can patent an idea that you have, perhaps you could um, showcase the work that you do and, um, and show off the work that you do and make it be known that these are your skills and see if there's some money to be made in that way. But uh, ultimately, these cards here are talking about protecting what you already have and ensuring that what you have is uh, protected for the long term. 
and thinking not just about yourself in the process, but thinking about how it could benefit others, especially those younger than yourself, okay, or future generations. Um, it could also be future generations. And so that is the, the basic meaning of these cards altogether. So I hope that's helped you in some way. I hope that it's um, struck a chord in you in some way and helps you to take decisions for yourself that will ultimately benefit you and help you to prosper in your life. I'm wishing you all a very blessed and abundant time ahead and blessings abound from Kismet Rising.